All right, I apologize for that. So if there's like a cut in the film when I edit this, it's because of that phone call. I'd pay another bill. So I'm sitting here, I'm doing my mascara, and I saw me at the weather. Like, how is the weather where you are at? Because here it is cold, it is windy, it is like awful. Okay, it is like this is not my type of weather. I am actually wearing a almost like a a scoop neck, turtleneck, what cow neck, whatever the hell they called. Um, because it's cold. And this is a long sleeve. I just have my sleeves pulled up because I'm doing my makeup right now. But it is cold. And I do not like this cold weather at all. Okay. I'm not a cold weather type of person. I am a... I'm going to say 60s, 70s. I can do 50s and I can do 80s. Anything higher than that, I don't care for. Anything lower than that... I just want to hibernate. So, I need to do my lips. But, look at that. I got mascara on my blending brush. On my blending makeup blender. Oh my god, look at that. Eh, I'll clean it off later. I clean up. I gotta clean all my makeup stuff anyways. I just cleaned up my brushes last night, but I'm gonna have to do it again because I'm gonna use them later on my kids. But yes, last night we had a um, a tree branch fall in the front yard. And it was a dead tree branch. Um, it had like, it had been eat up by, um, I don't know which one I want. It had been eat up by um, bugs and by woodpeckers and by pretty much everything. So, it, um... Uh, it was rotted out pretty bad and this morning I look up outside and there's a big old giant tree branch in my front yard. And I called my husband. I was like, did you see the tree branch that fell when you left this morning? He said, yep, it was laying on my truck. So he had a semi truck parked here, the one that he um, uses for work. Not the, not the big one in the back, but he drives a um, day cab for his work. For right now, until he gets this one up and running. And he said that when he walked out this morning, that the tree branch was actually laying on the steps of his truck. I was like, okay. Didn't cause any damage, but he got lucky. Because had it been a few inches over, it would have landed on top of the truck. So, I don't know. Do we consider that luck? Or do we consider that he didn't get to call in for a day off? I don't think his work would have been too happy about that. Because it's a company truck. But okay, I'm gonna show. My, I'm gonna show you my eyelashes now that they're done. They look fake, but I promise they are not. They're mine. You saw me. These are mine. Look how long they are. My eye, my eyeliner got a little messed up when I did my, but it's okay. It's Halloween. Nobody's supposed to look perfect today. But look at that. Look how long they are. I mean, that is just insane. That's insane how long they are. I mean, they look fake, but they're not. So, which one? Pink or clear to make it look like my normal color? I think pink is almost a little too... Hmm. A little too light for today's colors. I'm going to go with this because it'll just bring out the natural color that it's trying to be. Have you ever noticed that when you do... When you do certain makeups, like you do your eyes a certain color, or you do, you know, certain looks... That if you do your eyes first, your lips will always come out the color that they're supposed to be. I've noticed that. I've noticed when I do like light colors on my eyes, my lips come out a little pale and I want to add a little bit more color. But when I do dark on my eyes, and my eyes are already, you know, naturally dark, I want to do lighter on my lips. And I feel like if I do dark here and dark here, it's just too much. So, unless it's red. And then red looks really good. But I don't feel like doing red today because I'm wearing black. Only black and red is pretty cool. My favorite color is black. I'm always wearing black. Dude, I got full black fit on, okay? This is uh, Liz Claiborne. Um, I don't know my jeans are from. I think they're from JCPenney, too. And then I got boots on from Target, so. It was raining here. And it's muddy, and I didn't want to wear my tennis shoes, my um, my new Nikes I just bought. I didn't want to wear those outside because it's muddy. 
and I don't like to get my shoes muddy, so. Now. Just a neutral lip. Nothing spectacular, nothing. Just fine. I think it turned out well, except for my hair. My hair is a mess. Don't judge. I ain't done it yet. I ran out today and I look like this, okay? You can see the red in my hair where I dyed it. I used that um, Arctic Fox hair color. And I plan on ordering a new color. I just don't know what I want to do. You guys comment down below. Should I do? Alright, I have dark hair. I have dark eyes. Should I do blue? Should I do purple? Or should I go with something completely off the wall different? I don't know what color. I don't want to look like... I don't want orange or something crazy like that. I want something... Something pretty. Maybe an emerald green. I never thought about doing emerald green. My hair is a mess. I'm going to straighten it. I'm just trying to get it up out of my face right now. I think I'm going to straighten it. I don't know. It's so windy outside. I might not. So what do you think I should do? Pick, like, just comment down below what color you think I should do. Should I do red, blue, dark red. That's what I just did. Dark red, dark blue, or dark green. What color do you think I'm looking with? My dark eyes, my dark, you know. I have a more tan complexion, although right now I'm looking kind of white because of... My computer just went off because of we haven't had no sunshine. My arms are still pretty tan, but that's about it. I do still have a little bit of a tan line here. Sorry, see my tan line there. What is that? Oh, that's a stretch. That stupid thing. I still do still have a little bit of a tan line. So, okay. Now I wanted to explain something because I've had a couple DMs ask me about this. Okay, um, it's my tattoo. I'm going to see if you all can see this. I'm going to stand up here so you can see it. My tattoo. Okay. This is my phoenix. I designed her. Um, I designed her specifically for me. And her tail feathers are black. The rest of her is not colored in for a reason. Now, I want to explain what she represents. Okay. Now, I've been through... My kids are chasing an airplane. But, I have been through a lot of crap in my life, okay? A lot. I mean, starting from the time I was a little kid all the way up until... I almost say recently. Because even, you know, even my husband puts me through crap sometimes. And, um, I've been through a lot. I've survived a lot. And I've always come back. I've been knocked down so many times, it's hard to count. And I know there's a lot of people out there who can, you know, who can be on the same page as me. You know, our lives haven't, life hasn't exactly been easy. Um, number one, I've always been made fun of. I'm big. I, when I was tiny, I was too small. Everybody would make fun of me because I was too small. I was too skinny. I would get asked if I was anorexic. I would get asked if I would if I was starving. People would assume I was starving. And it's because I had a high metabolism. Well, after I had my first son, that metabolism changed. And I ended up with, you know, um, I ended up gaining weight after my first son. You know, I did. I gained weight with him. Like you do with any pregnancy. But my other pregnancies after that, I didn't gain weight. I actually lost weight with each baby. However, because I had already had the weight on with my son, I ended up gaining more than I wanted to. Now, after I had him, my body changed. I was diagnosed with um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, if any of you all know what that is, it's basically where, you know, you end up with cysts on your ovaries and you end up with, um, you know, fluid-filled fibroids. And it's painful and it sucks and it messes with your whole body chemistry. Well, I ended up with that. 
So I ended up gaining more weight. And, you know, let's just say I've never been one to please people. And for a long time, and even now, till now, you know, I've never had somebody just be happy with me. You know, I've never been enough for anybody. And that's fine. That's okay. I'm not, I wasn't put on this earth to impress people. I was put on this earth to live my life the way I want and the way I see fit. Now, I've been through a lot, okay? And I know there are some people my hair is looking all fucking jacked up, but I know there's some people who can identify with that. You know, it hasn't been easy. I've been through hell from forever ago. Um, you know, I had drug addict mother. I had, you know, uh, drug addict people around me all the time. I had guys that would treat me like crap. I had one guy that literally tried to strangle me and I still have voice problems because of that I used to be able to sing really really well and I mean I used to be able I mean I was I was pretty damn good I will admit that I was pretty good I used to hear myself in recordings all the time but because of that incident I can no longer sing as well as I used to I still try but it's not as good as it used to be um I was just I was tortured. I was put through hell. I was given so many tests in my life that it is amazing that I came out as well as I did. Um, I could have ended up a drug addict. I could have ended up... I mean, I've had... I've had lines of cocaine cut up and handed to me. And I refuse to do it. I have never in my life done a harsh drug. Never. I have drank before. I don't drink now. Um, I don't take... I don't even like taking medications. I do if my back is acting up, but for the most part, I don't like taking medications. Or if my teeth are acting up, I can't help that. It's a, like I said, it's a vitamin deficiency. I can't do anything about that. Not right now. I mean, I plan on getting it fixed, but it's just, you know, I don't see the point in fixing it yet because I know that it's going to get to the point to where I have no choice but to go get it fixed. And right now, I'm just not willing to spend the money to do it. So, I have been through hell. I have been through hell from day one. I was always told I was a mistake. I was always told I was somebody's mistake. I was always somebody's, you know, somebody's regret. And it's not because I'm a bad person. It's just because the people that I was around didn't understand me. Nobody understands me. Even my own husband doesn't fully understand me. Um, they don't understand my heart. They don't understand my soul. They don't understand the kind of person that I am. You know, I am a hardcore loving person. When I love, I will give every damn thing. From my soul to somebody else just to make them happy. That is how I am. And that has been taken advantage of numerous times. I can't even begin. I can't even begin to count the times that it's been taken advantage of but my phoenix on my arm represents what i've been through and she represents that guess what my ass is still here i'm still here i'm still standing and there is nothing that can knock me down and that is why i have her on my arm she is a reminder of everything I have survived. She is a reminder. If you know the story behind the Phoenix. It's basically a female. That was. You know. She was cast out. She was she was killed. She, she was burned. And she still continued to rise. From the ashes. You know that is the story behind the Phoenix. You can look it up. You can google it or whatever. And take your own interpretation of it. But that was my interpretation of you know, what the phoenix represents. And, you know, I was looking at getting a tattoo. And I hadn't... I've never had a tattoo. This is my first one. And I wasn't for sure what I wanted to get. Because I wanted something that represents something. And I wanted something that I could be proud of. Something that, you know, I'm not afraid to show it. Because it shows, you know, what I've overcome. It shows... That I'm still here. It shows that no matter what comes at me. I'm still here. I am resilient. I am strong. I am brave. And that I take no crap. So 
when I went to looking at tattoos, because I knew I wanted one, I started looking, and I started doing all this research, and the biggest animal that I could identify with, there was two. There was the panther, because panthers are supposed to be a representation of being mothers. They're very fierce mothers. They're very protective mothers, and that is also me. And the second was the phoenix. The phoenix, where she is strong, she is resilient, she comes back, regardless of how many times she's burnt. She always comes back. So, therefore, I chose the phoenix. Now, I am still thinking about getting the panther. I found this really cool one that almost looks like puzzle pieces. And when it's put together, it looks like a panther's head. I'm planning on getting it. I want that one. I want to get that one on. I'm thinking about getting that one on my thigh. And then I also want to get my kids' zodiac signs down my spine. Which is why I've been trying to get my butt in shape. Because I want to be able to show that. Because that repre that also represents me. My kids represent me. You know, I want... They are my blood. They are m part of my body. And I want everyone to know that, you know, my kids are my existence. So... I plan on getting, I have five kids, so I plan on getting the five zodiac signs down my spine. Not big, gaudy, you know, small, cute zodiac signs down my spine, you know, in perfect, perfect line with their initials and their birth dates. So, that is my next tattoo, and then the panther tattoo. Um, I like things that represent me, and I didn't want to get, you know, I didn't want to get something that didn't mean nothing to me. Um... I wanted or something that just looked cool. I wanted something that stood for something. And that is the meaning behind my phoenix. And I drew her. I came up with her design. Now, I did get a little bit of inspiration from, you know, some of the pictures that I saw. But this is what me and my tattoo artist came up with. So, this is one of my, this is my favorite part of my body is my phoenix. She's mine and, you know, she represents that I'm still here, I'm strong, and I'm not going anywhere. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I hope you guys have a good day. I will probably leave another video later for my um, my kids after I do their Halloween makeup. I need to go fix my hair because it's looking pretty bad right now. And, guess what else? I'm writing again. I'm an author. I do like to write. Um, I do have a few books published on Amazon, but I haven't been able to write in forever because my anxiety medicine wouldn't let me. So, the other night I was thinking, I had the story rolling through my head. And as authors, we hear voices. We hear these, we hear our stories and we see our stories before we write them out. Well, this one was kind of nagging at me. It's kind of just stuck there in my head. And I kept hearing it over and over again. I started writing it out. Well, I ended up so far with two chapters and seven pages front and back of my new writing. So, we will see how far that goes and we will see what it turns into. But so far, I like it. My main character is a man and I, I, like, his, I like his attitude. It's funny. So, I hope you guys can check, check it out when I'm done with it. Feel free to check out my other books under D. Ray Spencer on Amazon. Um, I will leave a link. I don't know if I can... When I use my phone, it's hard to put the description in, but I'll see if I can. Um, that way you can find my books. Um, I have a few. I'm more of a paranormal romance, um, paranormal whatever. It's just my thing. My brain's just always been that way. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you guys in a little while. Bye.